everyone so today I'm gonna do a little hair tutorial for you and this is just my everyday loose waves I've worn this a lot recently as you may or may not know my hair is naturally curly some people on my curly hair routine video which is the first hair tutorial that I posted some people said that my hair is not curly at all some people said it is really curly so I'm not really sure what it is but regardless of what people think it does have some kind of natural curl to it so it is kind of hard to get these looser waves because I have to like blow dry it kind of straight and everything. But anyways, I am going to show you guys how I do this. I do this pretty much every day. I like the way it looks. I feel like I look more mature than when I just have my hair. It's regular, natural, like super curly way. I feel like I look a lot younger with my hair like this or like that. So I've been wearing it a lot like this recently. I just, I really like it. It's pretty easy and yeah. So if you do like this hair and you're curious to how I get my hair like this every day, then just keep on watching. And all I've done is get out of the shower and I kind of put my hair in a towel and I like did my makeup and everything and then it was actually like really dry and really curly. So I re wet it down and just kind of haven't really done anything with it. So it's a little bit dry but mostly like wet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off by just combing it out a little bit. Just make sure like all the tangles are out. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Moroccan oil in my hair. This kind of like works as a heat protectant and it also just helps my hair look nicer, feel nicer, and smell really nice. I mainly do it on the ends of my hair and then I just kind of work it up. I try not to get it like in the roots or anything like that because it is an oil and your hair makes oils in your roots and stuff so your hair is already naturally like oily or whatever there but the ends of your hair are dry so that's the main part where you need it so mainly focus it on the ends of your hair and then just kind of work it up. So after I've done that I'm just gonna blow dry it and I really don't do anything too special when blow drying it I just I don't really have any kind of technique I just blow dry it however I feel like I need to. Oh, and I'm using this Revlon blow dryer. It looks like this. It came with a little diffuser. That's why I bought it. Um, I don't really think it's that special. And my hair does have somewhat of a natural curl to it, so I try and like blow dry it as straight as I possibly can because this is like a hair style that I do on a daily basis. I don't have time to like straighten it every time. Now, if I did want it to look nicer, I could straighten it before, but I normally don't. I just try and blow dry it as straight as I can. Since I'm going to be curling it, it's easier to curl it from like the straightest hair you can get than like super curly hair or whatever. So yeah, so as I'm blow drying it, I will like try and comb it out or like have a blow dryer like down so it kind of blow dries the hairs straight, if that makes sense. That's what my hair looks like when it's all done, when I'm all done blow drying it. And as you can see, it is a little bit curly still, and it does look pretty frizzy, but this is about as straight as I can get it without straightening it. Now that I'm done blow drying it, I'm just going to curl it. And the first thing I'm going to do is section it off. So I'm just going to do this really lower under, under section. I'm just going to like divide it in half and put half on the side and half on this side. That way, um, I know that I'm getting all the hair. I'm just going to like start with the pieces towards more towards the back and curl and as I curl them I'm just gonna put like if I just curl this I put it back there and then curl a piece and put it back and then eventually this side will be all be done and I'll move this side and continue on with that. The curling iron that I'm using is this little blue and silver one that my mom got at a garage sale a really long time ago. But ow. I think any one inch kind of curling iron would work regardless of the brand. To curl the hair, I'm just gonna like take a piece about this big, just like some kind of like bigger section. Since I'm doing looser waves, I am gonna use bigger chunks of hair, I guess, to curl. And so I'm just gonna wrap it around my curling iron and hold it for just like a couple seconds. And then I just kind of like let it cool in my hand for a couple seconds and then I let it go. I 
Okay, so now that I have this one section done, I'll just kind of like go back and see if there's anything that I want to touch up. If I do, then I'll touch it up, and then I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the other side and do that with the rest of my hair. Now that I have this whole entire lower section done, I'm just going to take a clip and I'm just going to clip all the parts that I've done, which is this section up right here just so I don't mix it in. And then I'm going to unclip this top part that I haven't done yet and then section it again. Now that I'm done with that layer, I'm just going to take the clip that I had, clipped everything else that I've done, and just kind of do the same thing with all the pieces that are curled. I'm just going to, again, clip all of that back and unclip this top section, which I think is actually going to be the last section. And I'm going to do the exact same thing that I've been doing. I don't really do anything different for my front pieces. I know some people like to like curl the ones in the front differently, but I find for me that it just works better to keep doing the same thing that I have been doing. Once I'm done with the top layer, I just let all the other layers out. Sometimes I'll just go back and touch up a couple pieces, but I can't really see very good right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish it off with some hairspray. And I'm going to be using the Big and Sexy Hair today. Sometimes I kind of like switch off the hairsprays, but this is just the one I've been liking recently. And some days, if it's just like an average school day, I will just like skip the hairspray because my hair holds a curl pretty easily because I have naturally curly hair. But, um, if it's like a fancier day or if I'm going somewhere and I'm going to be like gone for a long period of time, I will go ahead and use a hairspray, but I don't do it every single day because I know it can be like bad for your hair and everything. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and leave any requests below in the comments. I am going to be trying to post more often. That's one of my new year um, goals or resolutions or whatever. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!